Hey there YouTube, it is Oz1 here, and today I'm back on a video, and today I'm going to be showing you the way of how to make a basic YouTube thumbnail. Um, I am not an expert by any means, in fact, I, I mean, I'm not the best at making thumbnails, but I would say I'm good enough not to make a bad thumbnail. Um, like, my thumbnails are okay, but they're not the best is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah. So if you're looking for like some expert tutorial, then this probably isn't the right video for you. So just to get things out of the way, um, you're gonna need a program called Photoshop before you even beginning before you even begin to make like decent thumbnails. Like you can get Photoshop um, pretty much anywhere. I don't care how you get it. It's just as long as you have it, um, it'll be so much better to make thumbnails because it's an amazing program. So if you don't already have Photoshop, then go and get it. <laughs> so today I'm actually going to be making a League of Legends thumbnail for um, a new video which is going to be coming to my channel very soon. I'm not sure when because I haven't actually filmed it yet, but I've come up with the idea and I'm pretty certain that this is going to be my newest video after this one, of course. So I already have the two images that I'm going to be using for this video. I have the background image and the logo. Um, which we're going to be putting in the thumbnail. So first things first, before you start your thumbnail, you have to figure out what you're going to be doing it for. So if you're doing it for a League of Legends video, then I've got a League of Legends background for the character I'm going to be playing in that video and the logo. Whereas if you're doing a Minecraft thumbnail, you're going to want to have the Minecraft logo and probably some form of Minecraft background. For example, you could just get one off the internet or take a screenshot. However, if you are getting one off the internet, do make sure it is copyright free. Most images are though, so it shouldn't be a problem. But if you're getting it off a website like Devon and R, um, where people can actually upload their work, you're going to want to get their permission before you use the image. So to start, you're going to want to open up Photoshop if you have it. Once again, if you don't have Photoshop, then I'll go into a tutorial because this one's going to be using Photoshop. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS6. Um, so you're going to want to go to File new and you're going to want to set the width to 1280 as it is there and the height to 720 and make sure it's in pixels you can name whatever you want so i'm just going to name it um league thumbnail so now you have your basic canvas um for what you're doing you can zoom in and out if you want um, just to like, yeah, a better look. But yeah, here is your canvas. This is actually the resolution size for all of YouTube's thumbnails. Um, so once you've done that, you can start adding in your images. So to add an image, I'm literally just going to drag it in and put it there. And this image is not the size of that. So I'm just going to widen it out a bit. It shouldn't look, see, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it looks fine so just position it on your canvas so now I have my background image all done now you can actually add some things to this so for example I'm gonna go to layer layer style I'm actually going to inner shadow I do this for quite a lot of things now I just usually set the distance to zero and upgrade the size of it just gives it more of a cinematic look I think you can just play around with these settings, but I usually just stick with it in a shadow. So once you've done that, I've got your background. Now I'm going to add the logo in. So like that. Now this logo um, happens to have a white background. Um, so to get rid of that, I'm just going to zoom in just to make things a bit easier for me. You're going to want to go to the eraser tool. Right click it. Click on magic eraser. Then click on the background you want to erase. Should say this. Click OK. And just gets rid of the background for you. Very simple, very easy, and it's a really handy tool, especially for thumbnails or just designing using Photoshop. So it doesn't really matter where you put it. Just this is just your creativity and your liking, pretty much. I think the logo just kind of suits there. So now, what, what I did with the background image? We're gonna kind of do that with um this logo as well, so I'm just going to put the distance to zero and just kind of upgrade the size 
I'm also going to add some other things to this, like for example you could add like a contour, it's just play around the settings, it's really how you learn to Photoshop. I'm going to add a drop shadow, I'm actually going to add like a distance like that, so as you see here, if you look there, it kind of adds like a shadow effect behind it. So I'm just going to add a slight one of those and just upgrade the size a little bit, so it looks like that. So now I've done that, I'm going to want to add some text in. So for this, just going to wait for it to load. Now I'm just going to downgrade the font size. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be editing it anyway. So in this case, um, the video is probably just going to be called um, Akali. And then Mid Lane. So once you've inserted your text here, you're probably not going to want to leave it like that because it's kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the text using the text tool, center it just so it looks a bit better. And actually, you know what I'm going to do instead? Instead of that, I'm actually going to get rid of the mid lane. I made that a separate piece of text. So for now, I'm just going to do a Carly. So from here, I'm going to choose a font. Um, make sure it's all selected first. And now I have a, a wide plethora of fonts to choose from. So that's really just what suits you. Okay, so in the end, I decided that I was just going to go with the font I had selected recently, which is SC Gum Kids. You can download fonts for free on websites like websites like Defont and Fontspace if you're wondering. So I'm just going to increase the size. You can just edit it here. Um, so just once again play around with it I'll probably go for yeah I think 120 looks good so once again this font you can't really see it so um, I'm gonna go and layer I'm gonna add like I'm gonna add a gradient I think so I'm gonna go and layer layer style gradient overlay and now I'm going to select my two colors you can play around with these like whatever one you want I'm just gonna sit with the normal one though so I'll make it so the darker color will be at the bottom. So you're gonna want to get a red like that, and white at the top. I'm actually gonna add a stroke, and a stroke what it does it just basically adds like an outline around your text. Now you can make this any color you want. Um, it's really up to you. I think I might go for white actually. Like that. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, to be honest, making a thumbnail is pretty much just playing around with the program you're using. Um, there's really no method to it. Just kind of play around with it and do what you want. Okay, so in the end, I decided that I'd go for like an all red color scheme because you couldn't really see it otherwise. But I think this looks fine. So now I've got that. I'm going to place it right under the logo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and duplicate the layer. This saves a lot of time instead of having to redo all that process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text layer and just change it to mid lane. Now the final thing I'm going to be adding to my thumbnail is an episode number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the mid lane, duplicate layer again just so I get the same thing with all the same customization of all options which I used before. I'm just going to do hashtag one like that. Now I'm probably going to up the size on this a bit just so it stands out a bit more and takes up the page. So I think I'll do 180 and just put it below. So yeah, that is pretty much how to make a thumbnail for Photoshop. Once again, it's pretty much up your, uh, to your own like creativity and customization. This is, this is just what I came up with very quickly. I mean, obviously you spend more time on it, more effort, it will appear better. Like this isn't my best work. Um, but I think it's okay for what it is. Um, so yeah, this is just a very basic, um, basically Photoshop tutorial, I guess, on how to make a thumbnail. So I hope you enjoyed. If it did help, make sure to leave a like. 
and yeah if you have any questions in the comments um feel free to ask so after finish if i'm going to go into one to save it but just go and file save as um then i just say i usually just save it to my desktop or you can save it to like a personal folder you have for those specific things so i save mine as a photoshop psd file just so i can edit it if i want to this is actually really handy and um, i do this for quite a lot of my thumbnails i save the original one i made so then for the next thumbnail i can just edit edit it from this one that i've already done and then i'll save it as a jpeg or as a png whatever you want so yeah 